hashtag to ship by. I'm Brian Moore and this is Focus NNS. We're here high above the North Yard where CVN 79, the Kennedy, is currently under construction. But right now it's CVN 80 and 81 that has everyone buzzing. We'll tell you more about the two ship by contract signing. Innovation that is changing the way shipbuilding is done. 3D printed parts delivered to the U.S. Navy. And giving back to the community one house at a time. We'll show you the Newport News Shipbuilding Habitat for Humanity family. Those stories and more are coming up, but first on deck, it's an historic day for Newport News Shipbuilding and the United States Navy as the contract is signed for a two-ship buy, specifically Enterprise CVN-80 and the yet unnamed CVN-81. And while it's an historic time for the shipyard, it's also full speed ahead. Good afternoon and welcome to the contract signing for CVN 80 and CVN 81. Over the last 18 months, we have pushed this forward through development of white papers, briefings, and then finally the contract negotiation and, and into the contract award. Well, first of all, it's very historic and it's very exciting. The last time the Newport News Shipbuilding signed a two-ship contract was June 30th, 1988. So I'm very proud of our team. Uh, honestly, I mean, what comes with this uh, for Newport News Shipbuilding is a tremendous amount of responsibility. You know, we have been and we will continue to invest in our workforce. We're investing a tremendous amount in our ability to transform to a digital shipbuilding company. There's a lot of hard work ahead of us in 2019 just to set ourselves up to get uh, to get on the cadence of, of, of doing this. Um, there's a lot of hard work in the facility plans that we've drawn up and that we're investing in to make sure that that the factory, if you will, is prepared for this. So that all has to come together, readying our workforce, readying the facility, and turning on the digital shipbuilding machine. This contract is critically important uh, for the Navy the nation needs. Um, not only are Ford class carriers capable, but this contract will make them affordable and thereby allowing the Navy to procure, maintain and modernize the rest of the fleet. I'm very proud of our team and I'm really looking forward uh, to us proving that we're going to be successful in executing this contract. A great day and we'll have more on the two carrier buy and reaction from the shipyard a little later. But first, let's take a look at some other news from around the yard. The Virginia class submarine program is busier than ever. They closed out 2018 with the launch of Delaware SSN 791. The launching took three days as the submarine was moved into the floating dry dock as it moves a step closer to completion. The vessel is the ninth Virginia class attack submarine built by Huntington Ingalls Industries and Newport News Shipbuilding and is the final Virginia class block three of eight expected to be built. In addition, the VCS program is gearing up for another keel ceremony. The event for New Jersey, SSN 796, is scheduled for late March here at Newport News Shipbuilding. Transforming business operations, Newport News Shipbuilding delivers the first ever 3D printed part to the U.S. Navy. The part was presented in late January to Rear Admiral Lawrence Selby of Naval Sea Systems Command to be installed on the aircraft carrier USS Harry S. Truman CVN-75. The additive manufacturing process is highly digitized and could lead to cost savings and reduced production schedules for Navy ships. So it's a drain strainer orifice. Um, it is a relatively small part, but there was a lot of work that went behind getting this part uh, qualified to be installed on uh, the Truman. Uh, the possibilities are endless. I mean, we have applications all over our yard. 
that we could use uh, this technology and we're looking actively looking at those areas every day and uh, the future is exciting. And from 3D parts to even more innovation at Newport News Shipbuilding, numerous specialized shops are taking lessons learned from the Ford construction to help bring CVN 79 Kennedy to life. Aaron Pritchett with our communications division has that story. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress and working together is success. Well, that is definitely the name of the game here at Newport News Shipbuilding as we continue to move forward. And one remarkable area where this takes place each and every day is inside the vast array of specialized shops located throughout the yard, like right here in the pattern shop, as talented men and women do their part to help bring John F. Kennedy, CBN 79, to life. <laughs> Responsibilities for building a carrier. It's what we do, and it is monumental. It is, it can be stressful, but it is what we do. As shipbuilders, we embrace the biggest of challenges, no matter how tall, how long, uh, how hard, and we make it, at times, look easy, but I don't want to call it responsibility. It's, it's accomplishments, it's pride. And it's that accomplishment and pride that spreads through every corner of the shipyard. The outside looking in, progress of an aircraft carrier, and in particular John F. Kennedy's CVN-79, is usually measured as it rises out of the dry dock. But a lot of work goes on behind the scenes in the numerous specialized shops that take great pride in the detailed precision and accuracy on the thousands of parts, machines, and components that eventually make their way to the ship to be the vital infrastructure of CVN-79. I'm working on the guide rails for the CVN 79 John F. Kennedy. This is a crucial part of the ship. These control the elevators that go to the three floors on the carrier. It, it just makes me feel good when I go home that I'm doing something for the greater good. I'm proud to be part of it. Being in a shop, it's challenging because you don't see where the final product goes, but the communication network, the different areas in the shop, and also the other shops, working with them to get these products to the top quality that we can. It's a great networking experience. It's amazing to see how the pieces that I'm making today is going to travel to different shops and it's going to be exchanged between many different hands of our shipbuilders and it's going to end up on an aircraft carrier. Now I like to try to give them the best quality thing I can give them because when they've got to assemble it, I want it to go together like it's supposed to on the drawing. The reality of that is, is that everybody working anywhere else in the company besides in that dock behind me, we couldn't build the product without their services, without their expertise, without their focus on providing us a product when we need it. The art of craftsmanship begins in the shops, where tried and true processes continue. With the mission of moving forward, leveraging lessons learned, and dedicating focus on improved safety and efficient cutting edge technology has changed the game in shipbuilding. I can walk the floor and some days I go to a machine that was a, a planer, for example, that was purchased and manufactured back in the 40s, and I see that we're continuing to do that process like we've always done, yet I can walk very right next to that machine and say a modern machine that's doing a whole process that's very different and much more efficient than what we did in the past. Just like the Ford, you know, of lessons learned, every day uh, we find ways to make processes better, way to make machining parts faster, more precise. And it's definitely an experience that you, you learn something new every single day. We're definitely trying to grow and to become more efficient and more technologically driven and definitely safer. John F. Kennedy's CBN 79 is scheduled for its christening later this year, demonstrating once again that everyone plays an important role in ship construction. For Focus NNS, I'm Aaron Pritchett. Newport News Shipbuilding filled over 6,700 positions in 2018, a 35% increase in hiring from 2017. The talent acquisition team has been incredibly busy working to meet the hiring demands through recruiting events and sorting through nearly 165,000 job applications. We knew how critical this was for the success of the company and just 
the huge responsibility that we had to make sure we have the right talent uh, as we continue to build the company's future. The talent acquisition team has hired more than 11,000 shipbuilders over the last two years. Referrals from employees are the number one way job seekers find out about job openings at NNS. And there's more work ahead. Check out the careers webpage for all the latest openings at Newport News Shipbuilding. A new home for a great family as the ribbon is cut on the 16th home built by shipbuilders in collaboration with Habitat for Humanity Peninsula and Greater Williamsburg. Salima Cabway and her three children were welcomed to their new home on Marshall Avenue in Newport News during a ceremony in early February. Um, we're very proud to be shipbuilders and we're very proud to be home builders and so we appreciate being part of this. Um, and we appreciate being part of this community. The ribbon cutting ceremony was followed by the groundbreaking of a new project less than a quarter mile away. That will be Newport News Shipbuilding's 17th Habitat home and Habitat's 200th home. And we'll keep you updated as work continues on the 17th Newport News Shipbuilding Habitat for Humanity house. Well, as we told you at the beginning of Focus NNS, the two-carrier shipbuilding buy is transforming business operations. Shipbuilders are gearing up to get down to business. And Lena Wallace joins us now with more on the game plan on how they'll get it all done. The emotions are those of excitement here at Newport News Shipbuilding after the news of the two-ship contract. Shipbuilders are working on four aircraft carriers right now, and they're making room for more. CVN 65, 73, 78, and 79. Hard to remember all those numbers, but they're all addresses of shipbuilders busy at work. And there's more work to come after the Navy awarded Newport New Shipbuilding with a multi-ship contract. The two-ship buy uh, for me means that it's work that we're going to have for a long future. It's a lot for us to look forward to, so right now we're trying to plan to move ahead so that way once the work start coming in, the employees start rolling in and that way we can actually produce a good product to the Navy. The contract is valued at $15.2 billion. Shipbuilders will design and build two Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers, CVN-80 named Enterprise and CVN-81 which is not yet named. It'll allow us to go out and procure material and order material quicker and have the supply base expedite more material, keep them in business longer, and let us buy it a little bit cheaper. Saving more than $4 billion across the aircraft carrier program. CVN-80 is scheduled for delivery to the Navy in just under a decade. For Focus NNS, I'm Lena Wallace. Back to you, Brian. All right, thanks so much, Lena. Exciting times at Newport News Shipbuilding. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Focus NNS. Remember, don't miss out on timely news and information. Download our free Newport News Shipbuilding app. NNS to go is available in the Google and Apple stores on your smartphones and tablets. And don't forget to check out the latest news in our weekly publication, Currents. And remember, Focus NNS is available on numerous stations throughout the state of Virginia, including Norfolk TV Channel 48 and Charlottesville, Virginia TV 10. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Moore.